Look at this artifact I found from the past. Whoa, that's so cool. Where is it from? Some country called America that used to be really big and powerful. Why was it so powerful? They had something called popular sovereignty. What's that? I don't know. Let's ask Siri. Siri, what is popular sovereignty? The principle of popular sovereignty states that the source of governmental power lies with the people. This belief stems from the concept of the social contract and the idea that government should be for the benefit of its citizens. If the government is not protecting the people, it should be dissolved. Wait, that doesn't quite make sense to me. Siri, can you give us a better example? I do. Cameron, would you please place this ring on Mitchell's finger? Mitchell, do you take Cameron to be your husband? I do. Then by the powers vested in me by the state of California, I am privileged to pronounce you spouses for life. <laughs> you may now kiss your husband. That makes sense. A certain amount of people in one region, like California, wanted same-sex marriage, so they were able to vote to have it legalized, while other areas didn't want same-sex marriage, so their government didn't have to allow it. Siri, that still doesn't really make sense to me. Can you give me a better example? and use of marijuana in the state of Colorado. Ages 21 and over only though, right? Yeah. It's because the people of Colorado thought it was okay, so it was the state's job to legalize marijuana. Wow, that's great. Oh. Let's do time over again. The presidential election? What does that have to do with popular sovereignty? Well, back in 2012, in America, the people used to be able to vote for their own president. People chose their own leader. Wow, that's a really good example of popular sovereignty. I know. Thanks, Siri. Whoa. <laughs> Let's do time over again. Boy, is it hot here. Yeah, this looks to be the Middle East during the Arab Spring. That's when citizens of various Middle Eastern countries realized their government wasn't doing a good job of representing the people. So they protested for years trying to obtain a government that abided by popular sovereignty, enacted by the needs and wants of the people, not just their own wants. Oh, so the people wanted the government to represent them more. Yeah, popular sovereignty was a really popular idea. Wow! ensures that the government does not exploit or take advantage of the people. Popular sovereignty seemed like an important principle to ensure that the American government was strong. Yeah, government by the people, for the people. I sure want to know about the other principles of American government. Siri, teach us more!